Police in Santa Ana say these two people are behind bars, arrested for their role in a phony police officer scheme. Uh, the story basically is, well, Chip Yost is going to give us the rest. Yeah, impersonating uh, police yeah. officers. Chip? What can you tell us? Uh, yeah, there, there's some soap opera elements to this as well. There are some soap opera elements uh, to this as well. According to police, this started with an angry and jealous ex-girlfriend who also happened to be broke. So in order to get some money and also ex uh, do some vengeance, if you will, on her ex-boyfriend, she came up with this scheme involving fake police officers. Here's a picture of the ex-girlfriend we're talking about. Her name is Rosa Tanako. According to police, she had broken up with a guy recently, was not not happy about it, also needed money, so she recruited another guy. You're going to see a picture of him. That's Jose Paredes. And apparently they came up with a scheme to use some of the tools of the trade that this guy used, the guy she recruited, and his job as a security guard to pull off a scheme acting as if they were cops. He and another guy, they go up to her ex-boyfriend, approach him using a dive, they're using a patrol car, a car that looks like a patrol car. They've got all these things with them, guns that look like real guns, badges that look like real police badges. Badges, even a taser gun, they go up to him, and this is what police say happens next. They were wearing uh, ch um, chains with the badges hooked, uh, laying on their chest, similar to what detectives do here. They had replica guns, but they, were, they looked very real. They had yellow taser, they had collapsible batons, they had um, vests similar to what uh, detectives wear. So by all means, when this person um, and persons identified themselves as police officers, um, the victim thought that in fact they were. So then they proceeded to rob the victim. They took some money, a cell phone, his wallet. There is one more suspect out there. There was a second person posing as a police officer with this other man they already have in custody. So they're still looking for him. They're also trying to find out if there may be more victims out there because they think they may have used this scheme on other people here in and around Santa Ana. Reporting live in Santa Ana, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.